It seems to himself inside the last two kilometers. It's been a brilliant, brilliant performance here. Just uh, going around the uh, Gendarmen Mark. And he will come out and emerge onto Unterden Linden. I reckon he's only 10 seconds outside the world record. Well, this is extraordinary. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, 155.30 at, uh, yeah, 2.138 is at 155.20. So he is certainly um, only 10 seconds down on the world record. Wow, that is extraordinary. Approaching 41 kilometres. So what can his compatriot Legesse find? He thought he'd got this race won, but Bekele is going to take some shifting now. And there you can see, at 40 kilometres, just 11, 11 seconds seconds, yeah. in, outside the world record that was set, remember, only 12 months ago on this course. Kennedy Bekele has got the bit between his teeth, and there a little smile. He's enjoying himself, isn't he? And why not? This could be one of the greatest comebacks. Perhaps not the greatest victory we've ever seen, but one of the greatest comebacks that we've ever seen in a world marathon. 2.47 for the 41st kilometre, quite outstanding. And Legesse looks a broken man now, really starting to hurt. And he's uh, becoming an ever-distant figure as we approach two hours of running. Kenan Bekele, what a performance this is. And very shortly, he will emerge onto Unterden Linden, that famous, famous road There'll be a left turn into Unterden Linden, and then for the first time, he'll be able to see the Brandenburg Gate. Deep in concentration. He is trying. He is really going for this. He is. He's been watching, he's been looking at his watch time and time again, and he's proving himself this time. There's no dropout this time. This is a formidable performance to be dropped so much after a 2.48 by Legessa over a... He's five seconds outside the world record. Well, he's going to be very, very close. It's astonishing. Well, we saw history last year in Berlin, quite astonishingly. Are we going to see history repeat itself here? 12 months ago, Elliot Kipchoge, two hours, one minute, 39 seconds, and now the track pedigree, all those years on the track, maybe start to come to help Kennedy Sibikeli, still the world record holder, remember, over 5,000 and 10,000 metres. He's on Unterdane Linden, and there is the Brandenburg Gate, approaching two hours, and then we can get him home. He was 10 or 11 seconds outside the world record, but he's getting closer and closer, and he's about to hit two hours. Yes, he is. Two hours gone, and 41 and a half kilometres, just half a kilometre to go, and that uh, really is I mean, look at this, shouting the encouragement to him, but he doesn't need encouragement. He knows what he's doing. And there is that uh, Brandenburg gate. Wow, what a race. What a run by Bekele. Well, Bekele could be making history here, approaching the Brandenburg gate. He was down and out at 30 kilometers, remember? He looked a broken man. We don't know what the problem was, but he got himself back into the race. And now, what a feeling this must be. Kenanisa Bekele. He's won here before, remember, in uh, 2016, 20303, and now through the famous arches, and he's into the last few hundred metres, and he has exactly a minute, inside a minute, to get home inside the world record. Elliot Kipchoge must be watching on, feeling a very, very worried man. Inside two hours and one minute, approaching there and the crowd going berserk into the final few hundred metres. This could be history again for the second year running. Kennedy Sibikele, one of the greatest comebacks of all time, perhaps. Let's try and call him home here. He may struggle to get inside the world record, but he's going to give it a real go. Kennedy Sibikele, 20 seconds to get inside the world record. It's going to be, as a bare minimum, the second fastest time of all time. He may well just fall short. 2.01.39, remember, the winning time last year. He's going to fall just outside that. Kennedy Sibikele, feeling the hand of history on his shoulder, and he's just outside. Would you believe it? He's missed the world record by just two seconds. Kenan Bekele, a second victory here in Berlin, the greatest comeback you will ever see, surely in marathon running, and Kenan Bekele has come just two seconds short of beating the world record of Elliot Kipchoge, set here 12 months ago, 201.41.
Would you believe it? The second best, best time ever, but surely, Stuart, the greatest comeback ever. Such physicality over the last couple of kilometres. Such mental endurance and sheer determination took him to the line just two seconds short of that uh, run last year. But what about Leguesa? Now, Leguesa played his part. He really did. He put in that 248 uh, kilometre. He then, uh, well, Bekele was dropped off the back, went behind Lemmer as well. But then all of a sudden, Bekele had a second wind and came through. A second place at 2, 2.49. Wow, these times are terrific.